Why did we do infinite banking? My name is Carmen. And I'm Darius. And we are the founders of Wealth Nation. We teach entrepreneurs and go-getters how to own their own lifestyle through the infinite banking concept. So make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and also hit that notifications bell so that you're notified when we upload new videos. And after this video is done, check out our Patreon page so you can get exclusive content on infinite banking and how to fit it in your lifestyle. Exactly. So let's go ahead and get started with today's video. We are going to be talking about why Darius and I did infinite banking uh, individually because we both have past, financial pasts that really cultivated our decision into doing infinite banking in the first place. Right, and one of the things that we notice with our channel is that we go through a lot of the uh, benefits of infinite banking, what we're doing with our, our uh, policies, mm -hmm. and we haven't shared with you exactly why we're even doing this in the first place. Yeah. Yeah, because we're always talking about being a product of the product. So why do we even do it in the first place? I'll go ahead and start. Uh, so my financial journey basically starts when I got out of college. I was fortunate enough to not have to uh, go into a ton of student debt to go to college. Uh, and so my, introdu my introduction to the financial industry was credit cards mm -hmm. because my first job, I was able to apply for a credit card. And so I maxed that baby out as quick as I possibly could I, because I didn't understand how to use credit cards responsibly. Mm -hmm. And uh, that got me into the whirlwind cycle of being dependent on my credit card, spending it and paying it off, spending it and paying it off. And then I realized um, over time that I was, I got into debt for a car, so I got into debt for a car and that could take me to work so that I could work to pay off the credit card and pay off the car. And I did this time and time again for several years. I'm sure uh, many Americans do this whole same thing as well. And it wasn't really until after Darius and I got married and really started to pay more attention to our finances and what was going on that we were introduced into the world of investing. Mm -hmm. And once we were introduced to investing, it really opened our eyes to creative ways of financing and how to use the power of leverage to make more money, mm -hmm. which really got us into another level of finances because it just allowed us to uh, level up our, our lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And that was amazing. And as we continued to grow throughout our financial journey, we just kept learning all these amazing techniques on how we could become more in control of our finances. And when infinite banking came into our lives, it really made me, or it forced me to reflect on all of the years that I had become, all the years that I was super dependent on the financial institutions to finance my lifestyle. I realized through my studies with infinite banking how programmed I was to rely on the banks, to rely on third party institutions, to finance everything that I needed in life. And all I was doing was working super hard to pay them every single month. And I wasn't being able to utilize my own money because it was already accounted for every month going to somebody else. And it was really a smack in the face for me, realizing that I had spent so much time being dependent. And now, where Darius and I are now, when we talk about owning your own lifestyle, we're talking about in every facet of life. So for us as entrepreneurs, we are able to create our own schedules, to make our own way because we are in control of our lives. And then from the, from the financial standpoint is we are no longer dependent on banks and on financial institutions to finance our, our lifestyle because we finance it ourselves. So for me, long story short, I got into the, the journey just because I wanted control and I realized that I no longer wanted to be dependent. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's that. <laughs> so it's my turn? Yes. Okay. Your turn. So for me, it was uh, family. Every, whenever I go back to my understanding about finance, I go back to my parents. I, my parents taught me about finance. I didn't learn it in school. I didn't uh, pick up a book and, and intentionally started reading stuff about finance. I inherited my understanding of finance from my parents. And then I take a look at where my parents got their understanding from and I see my grandparents. So the, our, my understanding of finance and a lot of you, your understanding of finance was passed down to you. 
Now, depending on the family that you came from, your understanding and feelings about finance may be a, a little different. Yeah. And once we got married, um, Carmen and I, I realized, I started realizing that more and more that my understanding of finance and her understanding of finance was different. <laughs> and we had to um, marry the, the, figure out how to marry the two together also. Mm -hmm. And fast forward, um, after getting out of college, we didn't have uh, student loan debts because we, we were fortunate enough to get scholarships for college. But after that, we, we got married and then we started doing the uh, Dave Ramsey program, um, the debt snowball, and that forced us to come together and really sit down and look at our finances on a weekly basis. And I think that really helped us come together on a, on a, a platform of finances specifically. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we got into um, real estate or, or entrepreneurship where we started our own businesses and that took our understanding of finance and creative financing to another level which every single step prepared us for the next step so after us being in business and doing real estate we were introduced to the infinite banking concept where for me I noticed that there was a lot of families there there was a lot of um, uh, heads of households there that was doing not only them doing infinite banking but they were teaching their children about infinite banking and one thing that I, I know and this a quote that you you've heard us say but wealth isn't about how much money you make it's about how much money you keep mm -hmm. and within these families they were keeping all the wealth inside their families and the only way that the children were able to understand this as if they were taught this from the patriarchs and matriarchs of the family. And as I seen this, and I look at my family, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to, to change the paradigm for my family, knowing that if I have children, the only way they're gonna understand about financing and wealth is if I teach it to them. Mm -hmm. And infinite banking is a, a perfect uh, concept to teach to a family so that you can keep wealth inside of your family just like I, I've seen uh, you know these other people uh, these other families doing and I, I really wanted to to do the same thing for my family yeah and it, it's infinite banking has been a life-changing opportunity for not only Darius and I but for our families mm -hmm. so we brought this to our parents and to our siblings and so we're practicing this to, we're practicing these uh, sources of financing within our family and mm -hmm. it's become a beautiful marriage not only for Darius and I but for our families to unite to empower one another so that we are no longer dependent on third-party institutions to create our lifestyle. Mm -hmm. uh, we are getting loans from our family, we're working together and so it's not only brought our families closer together, um, it allows us to have a conversation about money mm -hmm. because money is such a taboo topic to talk about around the dinner table. Right. But why? Because we need money to survive. Money is, is life, mm -hmm. essentially. We need money to, to uh, have the resources that we need. And so why not have that conversation with your family, the people who you love the most, to be able to brainstorm and think about how can we come together to move forward and to progress. Right. And so when we talk about infinite banking, why we did it, it was more so from the education piece of it to have control and also to come together as a family to build each other up. Yeah, it, it forced us not just in our relationship to look at the business. There's a business side to marriage. Oh, yeah. And, and that's the, the financing piece. <laughs> so it, it caused us to look at this portion of our marriage as a, a business <laughs> when it comes to financing the things that we want to uh, finance in life. Mm -hmm. And family is the exact same way. The more you talk about it, the more it becomes a business and the more you're able to do things together as a unit for the benefit of the entire family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we hope that this information was helpful to you. Like we said, we know we teach infinite banking all day long, but why in the world do we teach it? It's because of these reasons. Right. So thank you guys so much for your time today. Be sure to check us out on Patreon, and also remember, own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will.